Hello dear viewers, this is Dr. Muhammad Abdul Islam and welcome to my channel. In my previous video I explained actors affecting actors of capacity. Uh, this video was mainly for experimental conditions and solution chemistry which has been very popular. So in this video I would like to explain surface properties on, on which absorption capacity primarily depends. This video is very important, so please do not miss it. Well, the most important surface properties affecting absorption include a specific surface area, surface site density, cation exchange capacity, anion exchange capacity surface charge and potential and drain size. Let us start with specific surface. Well, the amount of reactive surface available for absorbing solutes per unit mass is known as specific surface area. It is one of the most important parameters used to understand the absorption behavior of a mineral because the surface reacts with its surrounding by its surface functional group. However, the specific surface area is highly dependent on crystallinity, particle size, shape, and porosity. Generally, metal ion adsorption increases with increasing surface area. Then, area facilitates more mineral solution interface for the reaction to occur, thereby yielding higher adsorption capacity. And higher specific area mineral is more likely to adsorb more molecules and react faster than a similar material with a lower specific surface area. For example, larger uh, surface area of burn site, the surface area is 364 meters square per gram, imply that it would create a larger mineral solution interface and thus strong absorption of metal ion is expected. Then comes surface site density. Well, it is an important basic input parameter for surface complexation modeling. Without surface site density, you cannot uh, apply surface complexation modeling. And it can play an important role on adsorption capacity. However, there is no direct relation uh, between surface site density and adsorption capacity based on available literature. Then comes cation or anion exchange capacity. Well, cation exchange capacity is the ability of a surface to adsorb and store cations, for example, calcium ion, magnesium ion, potassium ion. And the greater the ability of surface, the greater adsorption capacity. On the other hand, anion Exchange capacity is the ability of surface to adsorb and store anions, for example, nitrate, chloride, sulfate. And it is found that greater the ability of the surface, greater the adsorption capacity. And it is also suggested that most soils have little or no anion exchange capacity. Then comes surface charge and potential, which is one of the most important uh, surface property on this adsorption depends suitably. For example, the surface charge or point of zero charge for uramide surface is 10.2, which means that uramide is positively charged over a wide range of pH, enabling it solution to be able to attract anions strongly onto the surface. And on the other hand, 
low point of zero charge, for example, magnetite, we will show that the magnetite surface is negatively charged over a wide range of EAs. And low point of zero charge explains why a high metal ion adsorption occurs. EAs values higher than 2.5 on this type of mineral surfaces. Then, grain size. Grain size or particle size is an important parameter on these adsorption events, and it is suggested that with grain size decreasing, the adsorption rate constant increases. Lower grain size particles have higher specific surface area which lead to higher adsorption capacity. If you would like to get similar type of video, please. Do subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.